landing crew and welcome to today's video of a really big sensory haul. There is so much stuff here. There's also a lot of stuff that is not shown on this table just because it's gigantic and it wouldn't be realistic to show. Stay tuned to the end and we will go over those with you. Since I've talked about doing a sensory room, this has been a highly requested video, but a lot of you guys asked for me to do this before Christmas to give you ideas for your special kiddos. If you are new to our channel, hit that red subscribe button, but also know that we have three kids on the spectrum. This video is not sponsored by any anyone, but I did get a lot of these items on Lakeshore or funandfunction.com. I'm going to try to find them on Amazon. I usually shop on Amazon myself. I just prefer it like that. So I will leave it below. If you don't see the item with the Amazon link, then just go to funandfunction.com or go to lakeshore.com. Both of them are wonderful websites, great quality, awesome. They're not sponsoring this video, but if you guys want to. So this is Liam's. Liam loves jumping so much. That is his stem. That's his favorite thing to do. So we got a really cool trampoline. You cannot see what it looks like. So I'm going to leave a picture up there for you. The issue with Liam's trampoline now is it doesn't bounce very much. So it's kind of like he's just bouncing on a bouncy floor in a way. So we wanted something that can give him more jump like his crib does. He loves jumping in his crib for that reason. These you guys have probably already seen in the playroom if you're not new but they are gel tiles. Don't mind my dirty floor. And basically you just step on them and they move. They are super, super cool. We actually have 12 of them, but I'm not getting all 12 out to show you guys. They are really expensive. They're great quality though. So I'm gonna leave the Amazon link. I know I saw some on Amazon. So this is for Liam. Liam loves the peanut ball so much. Like he will literally play with this all day long. He basically uses it just to roll on. He'll like lay on this and then like play over here with something. He likes bouncing on it. And this is one of the mini sensory balls. Lex loves sensory balls, but these came with something already inside of it. And then you just, it just gives a cool aesthetic effect and it makes sound, which is cool. Then we have some of this modeling foam. I like it because it doesn't get hard. It doesn't dry out and you can just kind of mold it how you will. I purposely opened some so I could show you guys. This is what it looks like. The only thing I really don't like are these little balls can come off and it gets a little bit messy. This isn't something I would just let my kids just play with by themselves. This is definitely supervised play. I have two of them. This is a snug sheet and it is for Lex. He really needs that pressure. He likes it. He likes how it feels. This goes as a top sheet. I will show a picture because there's no way I could explain it just by showing you this. And basically it just snugs them in and fits them into the bed. If they like that compression, this is great. Or maybe if the weighted blankets are just too heavy for them. Now, some of these things aren't as sensory as it is like fine motors and stuff, but they're things I thought are cool. And I thought you guys would think they're cool as well. This is just a basic three in one or two in one. These are actually wooden balls. They don't just fall through. You actually have to push them and use some muscle tone. It has that thing. Okay, this is just another fun thing that I got for them. It has animals, vehicles, fruits, and pets. Wooden puzzles just seem to last way longer in our house. Lex loves sensory balls so much, so I have quite a few of them that I'm gonna show you guys. These just have different like nubs on them for different sensory integration, I guess you would say. There's that. These are usually Lex's favorite. They're, they're kind of spiky a little bit. We got some glitter ones. These are my favorite. There are six of them. They're glitter, but if you shake it, it's kind of like a snow globe effect if you shake it. This is one that we bought from here, but Lex found it and he just keeps playing with it. So it's kind of used looking, but it's pretty cool. Lex is really rough on his stuff, especially like sensory things, because he likes squeezing things a lot, but this thing has lasted through it all. This is another one of Liam's Christmas gifts and you really can't see it for what it is, but it's basically a cocoon swing. So we will be putting that up in the playroom for him. 
Next are these beads that you put in here. We are not opening this until we are ready for a safe place because we know if Lex got a hold of these, our entire house would be covered in these little beads. The beads are actually a sensory integration thing that a lot of OTs use. And we got these little letters in there. We thought that would be fun, kind of also teach some letters at the same time. We also got a lot of these bins. These bins are really really sturdy because we need somewhere to store all this stuff in back here we have kinetic sand and i don't think i need to explain what kinetic sand is a lot of you guys know what it is if you don't it's basically sand that sticks together really well it doesn't dry out it's a lot of fun for kids to play in we got some in every color and then we got 11 pounds in just the regular sand color over here are again some more balls like i showed you before this one's my favorite because of the sound it makes little shapes there I like it because they put so many cool things in it. Like, look at that. These are not sensory at all, but these are really cool ones that I found. And then to help them like learn about the road and things like that, you have little signs that you, you can use. Great quality. We will probably have these for years and years to come, honestly. These are just fantastic quality and I'm very excited to use them. Lex really gets into like helicopters and police cars and ambulance and fire trucks. Then we have some sensory slime. Now my kids love slime. They love it so much, but as a mom, I absolutely hate slime so much. This is definitely gonna be a treat. Lex loves slime so much so does Noah. Lex is my four-year-old and he loves building things but he also has to move very quickly from activity to activity. This is a lot of building bricks which is basically Legos but they can't say that and it's actually going to go with a Lego whole building station that we got as well. This is for Liam and it's a weighted vest. This is a vibrating lap pad which Noah really likes the sensation of vibrations or we can use this for Liam. Liam really likes laying on his stomach and he likes someone putting weight on his back. As weird as it is, we've actually never tried a weighted blanket before, so we're definitely going to be trying one. I'm gonna try it on Lex, I'm gonna try it on Noah. We'll also probably try it on Liam and just see who reacts best with it. And then we will order some more, but these are weighted blankets. And then this is a, a nice little just cover that can go with it. I know everyone's like, what in the heck is this thing? Danielle said it looks like brains, but it's a crash pad. It's a humongous crash pad. And we're gonna be using this for when the boys just need that sensation of running and jumping on something. There's this one roller coaster thing we got for Liam, and this will be great at the end of it. So if he <laughs> runs into it, he'll fall into the crash pad and not into the tile, and we won't have to go to the ER. But we also have this big thing right here. It's still filling up, but basically it's a beanbag chair, but it doesn't have beanbags in it. So some of the bigger items we just can't show. I can show you guys one part of it. I got all three of them because again, it's something that all the kids would enjoy and you mount them to the wall. So it's something that you probably see in like an activity center place, maybe a doctor's office, maybe a therapy company. Since we have three kids on the spectrum, I feel like it's definitely an investment and definitely worth it. I don't know if you can see it, but it, that mounts to the wall. And then it looks like that. It's humongous. I have two other ones that I will insert pictures of right now so you guys can see them. Another thing that we also got was huge wooden blocks to play with outside. And when we take Liam outside, a lot of times he just doesn't have an interest in anything else. Like he doesn't really want to do anything. He doesn't want to like run around and chase things. And he just kind of walks around aimlessly, not really doing anything. The only thing he really enjoys is when we push him in a little car. I figured if he had something out there, it might help him want to build and do things and my hair would be looking a mess guys i'm so sorry we are leaving for jacksonville tomorrow and i have a thousand things i have to get done but i wanted to show you guys everything so we can start on the sensory room and get that going i will do a sensory room tour when we are done it is probably going to be a little while because we have to kind of figure out like how we're going to organize all of this how we're going to make that specific room be like 
kind of a calm down room. It's not just gonna be a sensory room. It's going to be a room to kind of just get away from the noise. It's actually really oddly quiet in there when you shut the door. Just kind of a safe place for the kids if that's where they need to go. I don't really feel like Liam needs that, but I definitely feel like Lex and Noah both need that. Noah does best when he's just kind of by himself and like in his own space then out in the open kind of thing. If you guys have any suggestions on anything I should add to our sensory room, or if you have a good suggestion on how to store all of this stuff. The kinetic sand, we're gonna get really small Tupperwares just for that. But I guess how to store each Tupperware. Anything that is not sensory is going in like the homeschool closet. I don't know, we are gonna figure this out. It's just gonna take a little bit. So any suggestions is a welcome. Thank you guys for watching this video. Again, if you are new here, we would love for you to become a part of our family. We have done a lot of vlogs in the last couple months, but we are going back to just kind of doing informational videos, educational ones, some vlogs here and there on important days or holidays or things that I think you guys want to see. But overall, as far as daily vlogging, just not really my thing. We're, we're back to Monday through Friday. It seems that I enjoy doing that because then when a vlog comes, I'm like, oh yes, I'm excited. I'm ready to film. Vlogging was kind of becoming a little bit boring because I felt like my life is a little bit boring and then you have this pressure of trying to make a boring life exciting and I, I, I just can't do that. But regardless, I hope you like this video and we will see you guys tomorrow. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas.